I am Siti Zana Nevin Kisnae. Today, I am going to introduce my group members. Our group consists of four, four food lovers, which are me, Siti Zana Kisnae, Nuru Ifa bin Tiromaisi, Muhammad Sojuan bin Abdullah, uh, Zul Fadli, and Las Ashiki. There are a lot of delicious food in Malaysia, but today, I'm going to tell about one of the famous food in our country. The food is blue and sometimes in the yellow color. Let me tell you, the food is very delicious, full of spice, vegetable, and others. The food are nasi krabu and laksa. The food are very delicious and famous in my hometown, uh, Kelantan. Our one of local states, if you come to Kelantan and didn't eat rice or laksa, you tr your treats to Kelantan is not perfect. Enough for the introductions. I would I would like to pass the task for the explanation about history of nasi krabu and laksa to my beloved group mates, Mr. Zul Fadli. Welcome to Mr. Zul Fadli. Zaz. Thank you to my friend Fiza. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Zul Fadli Bay Muhammad Fazil. And here is some information about myself. Okay, and today I'm going to share some information about laksam and nasi krab. Laksam is originated from Kelantan and until today it is still fully made from traditional method. One of the biggest laksam manufacturer owned by Cik Bidah Cik Wan still operate until today from 35 years ago and lastly laksam is considered one of the most popular breakfast in our country even until today next we are going to talk about nasi krabu in nasi krabu the rice is blue colored because it is combined with asian pigeon wing it is usually served with fish or roasted chicken or roasted beef and many type of, of condiments also nasi krabu has many side dishes such as grated coconut pickled garlic pepper salted egg anchovy sauce and many more the question is why are these two dishes are so popular among nation for laksam the combination of coconut milk, gravy, wheat noodle and some spicy sauce are so delicious. As for nasi krabu, it is very popular among Malaysians because of the uniqueness and the tastiness of the dish that complements the appetite of locals. That's all from me. My friend will continue our part of the video. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Shazami Abdullah. My metric number is D20182086711. Okay, today, as we know, nasi krabu and laksam is one of the traditional food of Kelantan. I will tell you about how to make nasi krabu and laksam. There are some basic ingredients in nasi krabu and laksam. Okay, the ingredients of nasi krabu is How to make fragrant rice. First, wash and drain rice and rice cooker is served for 4 to 5 times. Add lemongrass and caper lime leaf. Second, put the blue colored powder in warm water around 15 minutes. Third, transfer rice cooker insert to the rice cooker. Press the start button to cook rice. The second ingredient is how to make a coconut fish plate. First, toast grated coconut in nice thick fry pans. Stirring consistent over low heat until the general distribution of the coconut is golden brown. This process should take about 8 to 10 minutes. And then after finishing, remove and set aside. Second step is in the same fry pans, cook snapper fillet with 1 quarter teaspoon salt and ground pepper. Break up the fish with a spatula. This should about 10 minutes. The, the third step is grind and pound toast coconut in a circular motion using a mortar and paste to release it oil and fragrance. How to make kuah tumis or spice sauce? First, blend red chili, ginger, garlic, shallot, and lemongrass with 2 tablespoons of water into a paste. The second, heat vegetable oil in a small saucepan. Stir fry spice paste until fragrance, about 3 to 4 minutes, and then pour 
in coconut milk and add asam lugu, fish sauce, salt and sugar. Stir fry until sauce has thickened another 3 to 4 minutes and then after finishing, transfer in a small bowl. After make all the ingredients, then arrange, prepare daun kesom, mint leaf, long beans, bean sprout, shaved egg, fish cracker and coconut fish flake around the rest. And then put one or two tablespoon of kohtumis or spice sauce on top of rice. Okay, that's the way how to prepare nasi krabu. It's easy, right? Okay, guys. Now the second menu is a laksam. For laksam, the main ingredients is poached mackerel, laksam gravy ingredients, rice roll ingredients, sambal ingredients, and salad ingredients. How to poach the mackerel? First, add water and turmeric juice into a large pan and stir to combine. Second, line the pan into the mackerel, sprinkle with the salt. Third, bring the water into a bowl and then let the fish simmer for 5 minutes. Fourth, remove the fish from the water and let it cool. And then, strain the remaining fish stock and set aside. How to make the lesson gravy? First, when the fish has cooled, dribble the fish and then place the fish in a food processor along with the ginger, garlic and shallot and then blend into a thick base. Second, in a large saucepan, pour in a coconut milk along with the remaining tamarind, pure and water. Third step is add in the fish paste and mix well before bridging the mixture to a boil. Add in the ground black pepper and finish by adding the salt and sugar to taste. And then remove from the heat and set aside. Then how to make the rice roll? First, prepare a steamer. Lightly grease a metal plate or baking tea. Second, in a mixing bowl, combine the rice flour, plain flour and salt. Pour in warm water and mix until well combined. The third step is lather enough of the noodle mixture to form a thin layer in the metal plate and then steam for 2 until 3 minutes or until cooked. The fourth, remove from the steamer and allow to cook for 30 seconds before carefully removing from the noodle sheet from the plate or pan. The, the fifth step is roll the noodle sheet into a tight roll and set aside and then wrap it with the remaining batter. How to make the sambal? First, in a food processor, blend the chilies and belacan together before transferring into a mixing bowl and then adding the sugar and lime juice. Okay guys, that's the way how to prepare a lasan. I hope you enjoy the video and understand my explanation. Thank you. Hello everyone! Today, I will do a food review Nasi Krabu and Laksam which is one of the popular foods state in Chit City Wang Kembang which is Kelantan What can be seen? Nasi Krabu and Laksam very delicious I can wait to taste it Now is pandemic COVID-19 I just bought Nasi Krabu and Laksam from restaurant and eat at home eat more safety Okay, let's try it this is a nasi krabu. Okay, next, laksa. Okay, laksa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. It's so delicious. I like it so much. It is very, very popular in Kelantan. Hmm. In um, Farigan said, it is the same as a favorite of the city. Mm, very delicious. Okay, next, we try laksa. Okay, this is laksa. Okay. Wow, it's so so very delicious too. I fall in love with food in Plantain. You guys must try it. It's so, so delicious. I don't know how to tell. Try, try. Very nice. I like the kuah. These are made from the contents of fish. Delicious. Hmm. Delicious. I love Kelantan. 
Assalamualaikum and hi guys. You have seen all the explanation and some food review in the previous video. So here I just want to conclude the topic that have been discussed in this video. I'm pretty sure that you, you guys have tasted all this kind of food before this, right? So, do you like it? Okay, for me, I prefer nasi kerabu. Yes. But, okay, um, this both uh, laksam and nasi kerabu has their own uniqueness. Okay, what makes nasi kerabu unique is because of the ingredients. Okay, the blue color of the rice comes from the petal of Clitoria ternative flower, or we call it as a bumetala. Okay, which are used as a natural food coloring in cooking it. Okay, here is the flower. I just got the small one in, uh, in the backyard. Okay, and, it, and if you don't use the flowers, we use turmeric. Okay, this as a natural coloring. Alright, so plus it has uh, various herbs, coconut and anchovy sauce or the people in Kelantan call it a uh, budu. Okay, now nasi kerabu not also popular in Kelantan but very popular in the in the East Coast state in Peninsula Malaysia such as Terengganu and now can be found throughout Malaysia as well as in Southern Thailand. Yeah. Okay, now we proceed to laksam. Okay, the difference between the laksam in Kelantan and another state, uh, not much really. Uh, they closely resemble one another especially in term of appearance. Okay, the only difference is probably how the Kelantan laksam tends to be a little sweeter in taste, whilst the Terengganu version uh, a little more savory in general. Okay, the whole dish is the whole uh, dish is complemented by various vegetables and is usually accompanied by spicy sambal. Laksam is traditionally enjoyed as a warm, hearty breakfast. I hope you guys enjoy it till we meet again. Assalamualaikum.